The reign of Europe's only Jewish farm could be coming to a close, and in the middle of an impending crisis, the conversation about Judaism's ancient practice of agriculture is now more important than ever. Stick around till the end of the video to hear all about all of this and more. First up, the Kent Farm's revival of Jewish practices. Founded by Talia Chain in 2018, the Sade Farm started off as a way for the young woman to connect with her Jewish roots. The place the place later came to be known as the Kent Farm because of its central location in the southeastern corner of Kent in England. The great thing about Kent Farm is that it's not just a place to grow vegetables, grains, and fruits, but it's become an integral part of life for the Jewish community of London, where people come in from everywhere to reconnect with Jewish customs. Not many people know this, but Judaism is actually rich with laws, practices, and customs regarding agriculture, and all Chain is trying to do is revive them. For example, one of her most treasured practices is called the Law of Orla, where you don't pick or eat the fruit from a tree for its first three years. Instead, you let the process happen naturally. The fruit ripens and falls to the ground to rot as part of the natural cycle without any human intervention. All of these customs actually date back to pre-modern times, when Jewish people worked as farmers on plots of land and came up with indigenous ways of caring for nature. Next, we have a safe haven for Jewish customs. The Kent Farm is located on seven acres of land and is the UK's only fully kosher retreat residence. Starting out as a farm, the site is now a communal facility where Jewish communities, youth groups, and even synagogues can come in and hold ceremonies and retreats. Chain has renovated the whole place and it now has 74 bedrooms along with bathrooms on site for people to stay during any community events. The the farm has actually built a specialized retreat center for fun activities, weekend or week trips with facilities like tennis courts, a swimming pool, places for campfires, zip lining, and obstacle courses to help people connect with nature and enjoy the great outdoors as their ancestors did. The farm also has a bunch of educational activities that specifically revolve around Jewish agriculture practices such as picking and sowing vegetables, farm tours, sadaka gardening, and much more. And the best part is that people of all ages can come in and participate in all of this. And now for Talia's inspiring story. You might be wondering what inspired a young woman like Talia to take on the responsibility of carrying on her ancestors' customs this way, especially in a world where we have modern agriculture and farming, which is 10 times more convenient than how things used to be. Well, the answer is pretty simple. While most Jews connect with their religion at congregations and synagogues, synagogues, Talia connected with it through nature. She fell in love with the way her religion spoke of climate justice, food security, and sustainability when it came to food. So after doing a fair amount of research, she moved to Kent and started working on the Seta farm, which used to be a six-bedroom kosher guesthouse in the beginning, equipped with a brewery and tons of agricultural programs. To be fair, her idea did come off as a surprise to many, since no one really knows how important agriculture is is to Judaism. Today, the Kent Farm is a place for all kinds of Jews to come and connect with their religion, spend time with other Jews, and work directly on the land to understand the kind of lives their ancestors lived. Just like Talia, countless other Jews have found their own purpose in life and religion as they have spent time at the site, being one with nature. Up next, keeping traditions alive. However, what Chain wanted to do was bring attention to the fact that all Jewish customs like the Passover and the Shavuot are centered around the harvest, which is why she wanted to build a place that could help the Jewish community find its roots once again. As part of another Jewish custom, Chain has planted over 900 trees on the site, and most have been a part of the two Beshevat celebrations, which is the annual birthday for trees in the Jewish calendar. In biblical times, the harvest from these trees would be used to feed the people who worked at the temples, but today, the Kent Farm donates more than half of its produce to local food food banks and charities to keep the spirit of giving alive. Chain wants the whole world to know that Kent Farm stands to preserve the Jewish principle of preserving the planet and not wasting any resources. According to her, modern Judaism has forgotten this aspect of their faith, and in order to remain kosher and observe the Sabbath, this is the one principle that just cannot be forgotten, not just in the way that they make their food, but also in how they obtain it. So instead of the land being used as a resource, 
The Kent farm makes sure to treat it with respect, give it time to decompose, and for the land to rest along with the microorganisms to regrow so that there is a lesser and lesser need for artificial fertilizers. These are the principles that helped the Jewish farmers thrive back in the day, and the reason why Chain wants Kent Farm to go back to these practices is that they are clearly more sustainable than most other practices that we have today. From garlic to turnips, potatoes, and the Jewish favorite dill, everything you can ever imagine is grown on Kent Farm in the most sustainable and nature-friendly way. Now in other news, Kent Farm faces closure. Kent Farm, one of the UK's most important Jewish sites, was granted permission by the land's owners back in 2018 to turn the place into a vegetable garden. However, throughout the years, Kent Farm has evolved into a community center, a kosher guest house, and a farm that seeks to revive Jewish principles of land stewardship. However, the farm might be seeing its very last days because the Jewish youth fund that owns the land has now decided to put the land up for sale. Going at 1.5 million pounds, the Kent Farm is currently a healthy respite and a popular community center for Jews in London, running on ancient Jewish principles of land preservation and protecting nature. According to the owner of the farm, she was granted a 10-year lease back in March 2018 to run Skeet Hill as she pleased, with the only condition being that the original house was kept in its original condition. Talia Chain, who has been running the farm and keeping Jewish agriculture alive for over four years now, has managed to meet all the conditions set forth before the deal was signed. According to her, she has more than fulfilled her side of the bargain, while also investing around £40,000 every year to make sure that the site is maintained. So what was once a neglected house house, and even more neglected land, is now known as the only Jewish community farm in Europe, which is a great feat in itself. However, according to Julia Samuel, an administrator for the Jewish Youth Fund, the owners of the farm have not met the fund's objectives that the two parties agreed on. So the whole of the JYF appreciates all that Chain has done for the community. The charity felt as though the farm just wasn't doing enough to serve young Jewish people, which is why they decided to put the property up for sale. Next, Next, we have Talia Chain's claims against JYF. In the midst of all of this, Chain has claimed that the objectives that the JYF set for her were to provide grants for informal education for young people. Not only that, but she also mentioned that the trustees were super encouraging of her ideas to turn the site into a Jewish agricultural land and help her connect with Judaism's spirit of farming. In fact, according to Chain, the trustees would actually be thrilled if Sada were to buy the land off the charity. But Kent Farm just doesn't have those kinds of funds. So will Kent Farm be bought off? From what news has been released to the public, the bidding for Kent Farm closed in mid-June, after two separate viewings from people who were interested in buying the property. Now, of course, Chain says that once the decision is made and the deal is done, the priceless community asset will be gone forever. All that she has built will be reduced to nothing once the sale goes through. The sale announcement actually came as a surprise to Chain, which is what prompted her to go public about the issue. This has kicked off a huge social media campaign, with Jewish youth from the UK protesting against the closure of Kent Farm, bringing attention to how the farm created a much-needed link between religion, community, and of course, climate justice. In fact, Jewish climate justice is a movement that has slowly started gaining more and more traction all over the world, and if Sade Farm is to be closed, the movement will have to suffer from a pretty damaging hit. Why? Well, not only is Sade just a farm, but it is also a platform that supports Jewish entrepreneurs by co-sponsoring and funding events to support the community on a larger scale. The campaign was launched by Sade on May 26, 2022, and since then, countless supporters have been using the hashtag SaveSade on all social media platforms. And finally, we have the future of Sade Farm. For now, Sade Farm still awaits its fate, but if no action is taken, then this important Jewish heritage site may be sold off. If Kent Farm is closed, the Jewish youth in the UK will lose a site that has been integral to their connection with religion at large. So to prevent that from happening, all that Talia Chain and her family ask of the JYF is for them to be allowed to stay till the end of their lease, which is in 2028. Till then, the family hopes to collect enough funds to buy the property to make sure that its fate is never uncertain again. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Kent Farm will actually close down? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.